Welcome to the channel. I'm Sibua and I appreciate that you're here with me today. Hey, we have the A6 GT here. Those who have been on the channel long enough, you know that you're familiar with this car on the channel. This time around, we're going to be driving it. And that's the focus of this video. We're going to be going around, just driving it, talking about how it drives. Okay, we're in the A6 GT on gravel right now. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> oh, I've always done a great job. <laughs> I love the fruity sound of this car when it starts and what I like about it is that it doesn't necessarily start with like the driving mode that you left if you left it on sport or race it's gonna start with normal but when it starts it, it creates that fruity sound so yeah let's let's just go now I just want to tell you a little bit about it and how I experienced this <laughs> so far because what I tried to do is to see how long can one full tank last if you drive it on on race on sport throughout the week but hey <laughs> look from full tank it says the range now is 240 and that's because I've been pulling it quite a lot since it arrived and it has done, I think, let me see now. Um, trip, I think it's trip B. 213 kilometers just on, on one tank. Uh, and you'd ask yourself, uh, yeah, how, how far can you go? Probably 450, which is not bad uh, because then, uh, you know, when it comes to this race, I don't want to say performance per se, but when you put it on race, actually it opens up everything from the exhaust to everything. So what actually you can do is to set up this star button here as to what you want it to do when you, you're driving. And then it will be quicker for you to actually just tap into uh, whatever you set, you set this button to do. So right now I'm on normal. You can hear that the car is is just behaving normally as much as yeah there's there's a bit of fruity sound that is coming from the back but you can live with it you know what without feeling like a hooligan on the road without feeling like you're making noise you're disturbing people or anything like that and that's what i like about it it can go really quiet as much as they're pushing um that performance like suv it can go really quiet and i prefer a car like that that when i'm driving it i don't necessarily have to disturb everyone in the neighborhood because my car is too loud when you wake up in the morning yes there's a little bit of of noise that it makes uh especially early in the morning and that particular one as well it's not necessarily too disturbing you know one thing that people don't appreciate is we live with people and i understand it's nice and all to make noise on the streets and stuff early hours of the morning and so on but yeah for me that's not what i prefer i prefer a car that can go quiet and if i want to make noise then i can be able to make noise and as well uh when it arrived it was showing around 600 and i think 650 kilometers to go that means if you're driving it normally and you're not necessarily trying to rush it through anything you can actually get a lot from this car uh this engine quite impressive as well even if you're driving around like this it doesn't necessarily force you to put your foot down and get it moving i mean we're talking 155 kilowatts 325 newton meters of torque and you really can feel that when you're driving i'm, I'm glad actually because in some instances i've had a lot of uh people uh should i say manufacturers rather who reported big figures but when you get inside the car it's like underwhelming basically because you're asking yourself really this is 155 kilowatts um i'm not sure about that because i'm not feeling that but when it comes to this car i think because i've driven the h6 quite a number of times that's one thing that i never get disappointed with from the very first time i saw that it's gonna come with 150 kilowatts 320 newton meters of torque from the normal h6 i was excited when i got inside i could feel that it's actually <laughs> it punches 
look it punches at the time i remember i was saying the mazda cx5 is probably the best car that i i can see in the segment value for money wise before the h6 came and when the h6 came i did say to some people that you know what i think now we have a real contender for what mazda has done uh, throughout the years now we have something that i can say you know what yeah i think here yeah, we have something on the money because of what haval has done and which there with with this particular one where can i turn so that they don't kill me uh, okay let me turn here okay so with this particular one the h6 gt initially i was like i'm not sure if it's necessary but throughout the years uh not let me say not years because it's, it hasn't been long that long throughout the months that it's been here i've been asking myself why does it have to be here and you remember that as much as we we are sitting in a situation where people love performance cars they love the exhaust sounds they love the loud noise but they don't necessarily want to break the bank and i think that's what haval was trying to achieve here because from the time i got in it can you believe it this is this, oh <laughs> that, that fruity sound as much as sometimes i feel like it's a little bit artificial but why not why not <laughs> why not i mean sometimes you really just need that you know on that sunday where you're just chilling you're not necessarily rushing anywhere but you just want to enjoy yourself during the day just you know just driving around and just having some little bit of fun taking the stress like the weak stress out i think this is where it fits in and we can appreciate that enough especially coming at around what 600 and just 642 or 643 000 rands that's not a lot of money for a car with 150 kilowatts i mean where are you gonna get that it's not every day that you're gonna get that with the loud exhaust that allows you to just do this <laughs> so as i'm saying there is a reason why it exists yes it chills well but what does it chill well when you're doing that uh, i don't think <laughs> you're going to find a lot of cars oh baby let me not kill you you're going to find a lot of cars at this price point that can literally do this but what you need to understand is that when you put it on race mode like this it's it's nice if you're doing a lot of stop and goes and so on but when you're already on the move or it's a little bit of an open road yeah it's i don't think you're going to need that unless if you're in a place where you're allowed to do a lot more than 120 kilometers per hour then maybe i can say it, it will be justified to say you know what you put it on race mode and then you can continue doing what you need to do but in this case just driving around town like this yes you're probably going to annoy a few people here and there but it's not gonna be every day right like i said you can go quiet if you need to go quiet but i i love this i love this for what it does and because it's not just doing this it's actually moving it's actually punchy so that's one thing that i appreciate about it i mean i i can't i can't even complain much about the car and how it drives it's a comfortable car i don't think it's as comfortable as the standard h6 though uh especially when you're putting it on race mode like this i don't know how much this suspension is becoming stiffer compared to the normal h6 but it it does feel a little bit stiffer the steering wheel is a little bit tighter and yeah if you don't like that kind of a thing of course you can just take it back to normal and then you're having your day right <laughs> but yeah driving around in this car it's it's so easy it doesn't even intimidate you in terms of size even when you are alone inside the car you don't necessarily feel like oh you know what i mean this big thing that i can't even control nah it doesn't feel like that at all and that's one thing i appreciate about them they didn't just focus on making it like sound sporty and so on and forget that people are still going to live in this i mean this is a car that you're going to be sharing this space with your family there is plenty of th things that they consider and if you want more information relating to that of course you can check the videos that i made on the h6 the normal h6 when it came out 
made a video on that i made a video on this one walk around and everything i wasn't driving at the time but you can get all the details from there then there's an a6 hev as well which is I would regard it as a top spec because it's the most expensive H6 we have currently in the country. You can also check that on the channel. But otherwise, for now on the road, I think you can just enjoy having your Sunday like this. Woo <laughs> One thing though that maybe for me, I can say they still need to work on is the transmission in terms of how it's shifting it kicks you know it kicks you from your seat when it's shifting from gear to gear and also when it changes down man get those delays i understand that pops and bangs is not something that we can just say we want to have in every car but get those delays where you find the engine you know revving down you can feel that now i'm going down just touching on 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 higher revs a bit as you're going down so that's one thing for me that i can say they still need to work on but otherwise it's pretty quiet it's like it's pretty impressive on the road this car that's one thing that i think for me it's i appreciate it I appreciate it for that.